Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jessica. I'm a pet parent coach and positive reinforcement dog trainer. And this is the Pet Parenting Reset where we talk about dog training, behavior, uh, cat behavior, enrichment, nutrition, all the things to make your pet's life happier and healthier. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to tell if your dog is happy. Now what's really interesting about our dogs is that of course we're living with a different species in our home and that can be very confusing. We try hard, some of us really, really try, to pay attention to body language and different cues to figure out what our dog is thinking, what they want, you know, why do they like their bellies being rubbed? That's actually a pretty simple explanation, but you know, they just ate, why do they seem hungry? All of these things we're constantly asking ourselves about our dogs because it can be confusing living with another species. But overall, one thing almost every dog owner wants to know is, is my dog happy? So we're gonna talk about 10 signs, 10 clues to tell if your dog is happy. But before we get to those 10 clues, I wanted to just quickly go over, you know, look, we are doing the best we can, right? We are providing a shelter for our dogs. We give them love, we give them affection, we feed them the best foods we can possibly afford to feed them. We play with them, we take them on walks, we give them attention, we add enrichment to their lives. So there's a pretty darn good chance that your dog is happy, right? Even if they may be suffering with ailments and illnesses, we're trying to help them through. We're trying to get them over that hurdle, get them feeling better. We put a lot of love and energy into our pets and they feel that. So I just wanted to get that out there to let you know that, especially if you're watching this video, there is a good chance that yeah, your dog is happy because you are doing everything you know to do to make sure that they are. I also want to remind you to check the description because there is a link to my link tree in the description. And what you're going to do, what, when you click on that link tree, you're going to get a page with a bunch of different links. There's so much stuff there that I want you to check out, specifically a free dog training course. Yes, I said free. It's normally $199 value, but because you're here, because you are an amazing pet parent, watching this video for a very limited time is free to you. It's called the Beginner Dog Training Series. It is 19 videos that take you from sit and come and leave it, all the things as well as a little introduction to nutrition for dogs. So I hope you take a moment to check the link tree in the description, click on the free beginner dog training series, get signed up, get in there. All you have to do is enter your email so that I can email you the login credentials because it is password protected. This is not for everybody. It's not free for everybody. It is free for you. So check the link in the description. Okay, his eyes and eyelids are relaxed, he blinks a lot, his gaze is soft, and his brow is smooth. His ears are also relaxed, not cocked or pointing. His mouth is open a bit with a few teeth visible, but not bared. His tongue may be lolling and he may even appear to be smiling. That's the first tip. The second one is that she's holding her body in a relaxed posture versus a tense or stiff stance. She's holding her tail high and wagging it with such gusto, her whole body is wagging. Alternatively, her tail may be in a more neutral position with a softer, slower wag. Number three, he has no destructive behaviors. Even when he's home alone, happy dogs generally get plenty of physical and mental stimulation. Bored, under-exercised, under-stimulated dogs are more likely to become destructive, along with dogs who suffer, suffer from separation anxiety. Don't want that. Next one, she loves to play. Happy dogs are always up for a game or a walk or a ride in the car. Since exercise and play are so natural for dogs, if your canine companion doesn't seem interested, she may be dealing with some pain or illness and it's time to make an appointment with your veterinarian.
number five. I think we're number five. He's belly up and tongue out. Happy dogs tend to show their bellies and tongues as they wriggle around on their backs. Happy belly displays are different from submissive belly rolls in which the dog's mouth is usually closed and his body is stiff. So don't make, make sure you make that distinction. Next, her appetite is good, which indicates she's both happy and feeling physically well. A, notice, a noticeable decrease or increase in your pet's appetite can be a symptom of an underlying condition. So we wanna make sure we stay on top of that. Next, he's happy barking. Some dogs rarely bark, but those who do t t tend to have higher pitched barks when they're happy, then, and then they usually don't last as long as well. Next up, she play bows. Many happy dogs raise their backsides in the air and lower their chest to the ground as an invitation to play with their favorite human or doggy friend. That one's fun. Next up, he leans into you. A happy dog will often lean into your hand when you pet him and lean in or keep contact with your body whenever the opportunity presents itself. So when your dog is touching you, that's a good sign. Next up, she's thrilled to see you. Happy dogs are not without fail to see their human come through the door. Even if said human has only stepped outside for a minute to check the weather, your dog being happy that you come back in, that's a really good sign that your dog is happy. So those are just some of the tips, some of the cues, some of the body, languages, uh, uh, body language signals and signs that your dog shows to let you know how happy they are. I know personally, my dog does like all of these. <laughs> and when I was researching this to make sure I was getting everything in this video for you, I was like, yes, I, I love that. Because even though we know, like we know, right, that our dog is happy, that vindication, that yes, my dog really is happy when we see it all set out, written down on paper, that's, that's a really wonderful feeling. She play bows all the time. She's always ready to play. She greets me like she is, like I've been gone for years, even if I've only been gone for a minute. I absolutely love all of, the, all of these tips to tell if your dog is happy. And I love knowing that my dog is happy. I hope your dog is happy as well. And all of these tips resonate with you. Let me know, comment down below and let me know which of these tips your dog does or maybe doesn't do. That would be interesting too, because, you know, especially if our dog may be ill or sick or maybe they are older and they physically can't do some of these things, you know, there are always exceptions to the rule. So to learn about those, I would love to hear a comment down below and let me know. Also, I hope to see you join the Patreon family and <laughs> check the link in the description. It's also in my link tree if you're going there anyway to get the beginner dog training series, which by the way is free for you today for a limited time. So check the link tree, you can get both of the links together there as well as <laughs> the podcast link. So here's the deal with Patreon. Um, Patreon is amazing because you can join for as little as a dollar a month. And what happens over there is that really, really cool. You get the content you sign up for. <laughs> it's a novel idea, right? But I post exclusive content there every single week. You get behind the scenes, you get first look at stuff. It's really an incredible place. So. I hope to see you over there. You can join for as little as a dollar a month, as I've said, and it helps me to continue to bring content like this to you and other pet parents. And then the podcast. Guys, if you have not hopped on the podcast bandwagon, yeah, yeah, bandwagon, if I could talk, then I really hope you do because you can get you can get the podcast wherever you already listen to your podcast or if you're not already listening to podcasts, um, you can get it on Apple, Spotify, Google, wherever podcasts are available all you have to do is search the pet parenting reset you can also go to the petparentingreset.com and you can listen there as well uh, with that i'm going to end today's video i hope this was helpful i hope it 
gave you some clues, some hints, some, you know, a little peek into that body language that your dog is giving you. I know a lot of people ask me all the time, why is my dog doing this? Why does my dog do that? What hap What does that mean when my dog does this? And a lot of times it's these things. It's their dog leaning against them, which by the way, a lot of people think is like an alpha dog um, move that they're controlling you, they're dominating you. Not the case at all. They're comfortable with you, they're happy with you. They wanna touch you because they love you and they're happy. So that's one of the things that I really was thrilled to put into today's list because I, I get that question like a lot. <laughs> so I hope this helped. Make sure you're also giving this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to this channel, whether you're watching on YouTube or Rumble, I hope that you subscribe as well. So you can get notified every time I post a new video. With that, give your pets some extra love from me today. And until next time, bye guys.